What's going on guys? We are back tonight with another showcase video for you and a subscriber request. So it's going to be this card right here at the top. Uh, Red Sky at Morning is the deck they asked if they could see. So I have been tinkering for the past day trying to come up with something halfway decent because honestly I felt like uh, this archetype is not that great. Uh, riding the waves to me just seems like it needs quite a bit of support. Uh, still to be viable and overall I just I don't know that this card is going to be the one to do it but we're going to test it out and uh, you guys can let me know in the comments what you think but this is the showcase card red sky at morning it's a six energy 57 power uh, when played if it's before round three you're riding the waves cards in hand lose 30 this turn and if it's uh, round three or later, you're riding the waves cards wherever they are. Gain plus 25 until played. So the thing I don't like about this card is the first, obviously the first part of the card. Uh, and it really, because it's not triggering it until it's uh, round three or later, you're really not going to get that many triggers off of it. Typically, you're going to get one trigger, depending either that or you're going to have to hold it, play it, uh, round three, turn one, right? So that you could potentially get it again round five, turn one. But then again, it's, you know, you're going to have to hope you get your riding the waves cards in that last round. Uh, so you can take advantage of that plus 25. So I don't know. It feels a little weak just because you don't get to play it uh, right at the beginning. And I would love to play this and already be getting plus 25 until played in round one. But because you're not, it's delayed. So it feels like everybody else... They're stacking until play damage for the late game, and here you are losing early rounds because you're not getting that plus 25 early. I just It didn't feel great. Uh, let's go on to the rest of the deck, though. We got Cyberspace. When played, if your deck has eight or more ocean cards and eight or more arts and culture cards, uh, your cards, wherever they are, gain that plus 16 until played. So we went ahead and did the oceans and arts and culture theme. Because we had Red Sky Morning and we knew we wanted to go Oceans with the uh, Riding the Waves cards, we said, let's try out this cyberspace in this deck. And also great shell for Talos, right? When played, if your deck has nine or more Oceans, your non-Ocean cards get that plus 20 until played. So we're going to get the Arts and Culture buff, essentially. Uh, a little bit on cyberspace, too, but I think primarily Arts and Culture. And then we have just the one cyberspace. So uh, those are our buffers. Those top three. Let's take a look at the rest of the deck. We've got the Hierophant. Uh, when played, if your deck has exactly three tarot cards, give them plus 27 perm. So we do have the three tarot uh, with the Tower and Ace of Swords. Uh, Ace of Swords, when played, if played in the left slot, the cards in your hand get plus 25. And if played in the right, your opponent's cards lose minus 25 until played. And the Tower, I've been liking lately. It's a decent card when drawn. All cards, both players' hands lose 10 until played. And then when played, if you're winning, you get the plus 100 on a random card. And then if you're tied or losing, it could be on either either player's card. So you don't know until you go to play it. So interesting little mechanic. I think it's fun. This is a neat little card here, Sinbad the, the Sailor. And this is why we have seven Riding the Waves cards in our deck right now. It says, when drawn, if your deck has exactly seven Riding the Waves cards, this card gains plus 65 this turn. And then when returned, we get a little discount on our Riding the Waves cards, minus one until played. So good card overall. It gives us, you know, seven energy back on our seven cards. And then obviously we get that plus 65. So for five energy, it's doing quite a bit. It's, it's paying for itself. And you're getting 100 power out of it. So pretty decent. Uh, I definitely don't mind it at all. Uh, let's see. We got Titanic. This is a card I really was looking to swap. Just because this week's energy. This four costed card. Just doesn't seem like it does enough in this deck. Uh, if it was like plus 25 until played. I think it would be a little more viable. Or it needs its base stat. That six base stat is a little low. Uh, if it was up to 40. I think this card would be playable but as it sits now it feels a little weak in the deck because when you go to play it you're you're basically conceding the turn or the round because you're not doing any power it feels like so that that card feels a little weak to me 
Uh, Mary Rose, when drawn, you're uh, riding the Waves cards wherever they are, cost minus one this round. So want to get that cycling on that first turn uh, first turn of the round so we can start taking advantage of the discount. We've got Pessy Canoe. When drawn, you're riding the Waves cards wherever they are. Gained 15 until played. So this one doesn't feel as bad because it has that 55 base stat. So that's kind of what I was hoping Titanic would get. It's a little unfortunate. Uh, we've got USS Arizona. This card's decent. When drawn, a random opponent's card from each album loses 18 for two turns. So many colored deck out, color decks out there. I feel like this actually typically hits quite a bit. I mean, there's occasionally where you're up against a mono color deck, but uh, a lot of times you're hitting more than one card with this thing, and it feels decent when you hit like three, four, five cards, and you're like, "Ooh, that is ding a lot of power there for." Five energy. Uh, HMS Revenge, when returned, if you're losing the round, you're riding the Waves cards wherever gain plus 14 for three turns. Again, feel like it should be a little bit stronger. Like I said, the riding the Waves uh, archetype just doesn't seem to get a lot of power. Again, Flying Cloud, early game, you're, you're sacrificing those early rounds, and it's tough to come back in the late round to win, so... Again, we're probably going to lose early because of this flying cloud not doing any power. So uh, let's take a look. We've got the fighting uh, Tamari. Uh, when played, if your deck has five or more riding the waves cards, you're riding the waves cards wherever they are, lose 10 permanently, and your cards wherever they are, gain five. So we're going to sacrifice that 70 perm power and gain back whatever, eight. what's 18 times five? So we're not losing a whole lot but uh, on our Riding the Waves cards, but we're losing a little bit, and, but we're going to get it back, so, so not the end of the world. We've got Kraken. When played, your Oceans and Seas cards in hand gain plus 40 this turn. This card to me does feel, sometimes feels a little weak too, even though, I mean, you're you're going to play it usually with all Oceans cards, but uh, I don't know, just I think it's the base 10 power again. I think this card for a Mythic should probably be at the, you know... 40 50 base power there i think that would make it feel a little bit better a little bit stronger but there's times you play it and you're like man i'm still losing and i just played a mythic card down like why am i not doing the, the power i need to do uh flying dutch fantastic card you guys know if you're losing the round your cards in hand gain that plus 48 on the turn and if you're winning winning your plundering pirates gain plus 36 for two turns uh, Ace of Swords, we talked about. Jumping down Archangel, you guys know this card. Fantastic. When played, two random cards in your hand gain plus 25 until played. And then when played, a random card gets plus 30 until played. Or, I'm sorry, permanent. Uh, Kronos, to round the deck off when played, your cards in hand with five or more base energy gain plus 25 this round. And that's a lot of cards in this deck. Almost the whole deck's over five. There's, what, three, four cards maybe that aren't. And then uh, when returned, your cards with uh, four or less lose 20 until played. So that's the deck. Uh, like I said, it feels a little underwhelming. I'm going to, obviously, we're going to show it anyway. I just want to showcase this new card. So I'm not expecting to win. <clears throat> just giving that up front. So I'll probably only do one game just because I don't want to, you know, show a whole bunch of losses and me struggling to get anywhere, but I feel like I've really tried to make this archetype work and tried several scenarios here with tons of different combinations and cards, and I've been struggling with this one. This one is definitely uh, kicking my butt. I, can't, I just can't seem to get uh, something that I like, but this is, as, this is about as close as I can get, so we'll see what you guys think, and let me know in the comments. When we're all said and done here. All right, we're going to start off with the Kraken. Get the Titanic. Get that uh, plus 18 going on right away. Try not to get too behind. Looks like we're up against the birds, so I'm really not expecting to win here. You guys know I hate the birds. Seems like down at this lower level. Every time I record, too. It's funny, when I don't record... I hardly see the birds, but the second I hit the record button, it's like birds for days. <laughs> Drives me crazy. Okay, so you buffing there, huh? We might just do that then. 
It's losing the round card, so it sucks. We're probably going to win this turn, but that's all right. Let's do it anyway. I want to start getting in that lead. I like to win these early rounds because this deck, like I said, is a little weak early. Until Flying Cloud gets going and some of those other ones start getting some buffs. We can be a little behind sometimes. Ooh, USS hit three cards over there, so that's nice. Looks like he's doing some self-lock. Do it like this. I think that's going to be enough. Yeah. Interesting Emperor play there. I was probably a bot, so it doesn't understand the self-lock deck. Yeah, definitely a bot. Kepler's Tides with a, another hyphen in the in the name, so it's usually a dead giveaway. All right, there's our Sinbad, so we want to get him down right away. We can get Mary Rose cycling for the round here. And I'm going to go ahead and play here if it, start getting that permanent buff. Alright, there's our discount on our riding waves. Gotta love that. Alright, we missed our Kronos by one turn there. That sucks. So we'll probably just hold it. Oh, but do I because I kinda want I kinda need to hold this one too. So I guess we'll do that then. We'll just uh let's do it like this. It's fine. I think we can afford to lose this round, if anything. It's not the end of the world. I really don't want to, but if we do. All right, we got a little bit of lead. Was not the best draw, because everything's so uh, under-leveled right here, but I think we'll play it. 360 might not be enough, but I really don't want to play those other two cards. I want to hold them for next turn, so let's do it. Yeah, I think he got us here. And yeah, we could have won that too. See what I mean though about the Kraken? Sometimes it just doesn't feel like it does enough. Granted, I played it with two really weak cards, but still just feels a little weak because it's base base power so low all right now let's take advantage of this need to play the revenge now i think so that it doesn't get dinged by this chronos Hanging in there. Feel like it's taking a lot though. And this deck's got a lot of strong like mythic cards in it too. A lot of expensive cards. You'd think it would be doing a lot better. Alright, let's let's drop you. What's it buff? Okay. Oh, energy lackluster. All right, let's do it like this then. This is a good week too, guys. Uh, with the twenty energy, like staying st like stagnant, basically, it's not. You're always gonna get twenty no matter what. You should uh, really play some power per turn cards that that do that uh, negative energy. Like you basically kill one of your permanent energy to get permanent power. Those seem like they'd be really good this week just because you don't actually lose the energy. So just keep that in mind if you guys are looking for something to play this week. I think that's going to do it. 
Oh, he's still putting it down though. 375 for two cards. He still got those two cards over there locked. <laughs> so he definitely didn't play properly. So this bot doesn't understand how to how to play uh, Zhang Di by itself. Good for us, though. You know, might actually pull a win out here. All right, there's our Kraken. Let's get him back going. Flying Cloud looking better now. Just takes a little bit. Okay, another good turn for him. Keep it up with us. Was really hoping to be down right here just so I could play Flying Dutch, but I guess that ain't happening. Oh, it just drew so bad right there. Goodness gracious. Do I have to play Dutch here just to not lose? I really don't want to. Just in case we do and it's not enough. Man, that's a risky business, I feel like. Let's do it. Probably really a misplay. Probably shouldn't have done that, but... It worked. We won. <laughs> I'll take it. But all right, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought. I'm really kind of surprised I won. I think if that was a real player there, not a bot, it probably would have been a different story. Um, just because he didn't understand the, you know, how to unlock his cards. But uh, aside from that, I mean, the deck did what it was supposed to do. It's just, uh, like I said, it just feels a little underwhelming. A little, little weak still. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't rate it super high. I'd probably rate this, I don't know, maybe a 5 or a 6 out of 10. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, even with all these strong cards I have in here, it just didn't feel like it was enough. I think that Red Sky Morning, uh, just as a, I don't know, a rating for it specifically, I'd probably give it a C+. Plus. Just like I said, that, that early uh, ding to your Riding the Waves cards when they're already kind of weak to begin with early it feels really bad so it, it kind of forces you to hold the card um until after round two so when you play it round three then you start taking advantage of it so i really didn't like that aspect of it it just felt like it was kind of sitting in my hand as a dead card uh the few times i did play with it and as i was trying to figure out this deck and tweak it uh i just i don't know i didn't love it i think there's uh Riding the Waves definitely still needs some support. It just feels really weak to me. But uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought. As always, appreciate you guys watching. Hope Hopefully you liked the review. Thanks again. Have a good night.